Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and we're back with The Binding of Isaac, which, I'll be honest, I never intended it to be a series per se, and it won't be, this very much will be another standalone episode, but uh, I felt it was appropriate given what I want to talk about today. Uh, but first let's actually get into the game proper. I'm going to play greed mode for the hell of it. Who to play as? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's go with Kane, he says, picking one basically at random. I don't think it's going to matter. I'm probably going to die very quickly. So, as I alluded to, I have a purpose for coming back to Isaac. Now, the last time I played Isaac on the channel, it was because a video would come out on the Game Theory channel, of which I do enjoy following, um, about Defy Media basically going bankrupt and in the process screwing over a large number of its clients. Its clients being YouTubers, uh, because it was a MCM, a multi-channel network, and that was the... Uh, oh, dribble shot, nice. And that was their business model. Uh, YouTubers um, work through them to copyright their uh, material. So, if we take the Game Theory channel as an example, so I'm just, uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm just looking around, seeing what I, I need to get. If we take Game Theory as an example, they make a... Um, Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a moment there because of all these flies. Yes, they make a, a video about, I don't know, um, can zombies be a thing? Uh, to which their answer was basically yes. Anyway, so they make a video and they want to prevent other people from taking that video and claiming it as their own, essentially. They want to put a copyright on the material they have made, which they are all very well entitled to do. Now, the only way to do that through YouTube at the moment is through these multi-channel networks. I don't know why that's the case, I just know that is what they need to do. So to protect their original property, they need to have these multi-channel networks. So they had uh, worked with Defy Media. Oh, wow. I'm going to go with someone with a bit more health, I think. For this. Uh, so they worked with uh, Defy Media, the multi-channel network. Um, who then, as I mentioned, immediately pretty much went uh, bust. And the way multi-channel networks work, for lack of a better description, uh, is that instead of you um, using their services and then paying them for that service, damn it, need a bomb for that, um, from your earnings... They take your earnings and then take their cut out of your earnings before giving you what's left. So, uh, the example that um, Mr. Matt Pat gave in his original video was if instead of you paying a plumber to fix your uh, washing machine, um, he went to your place of work, took your paycheck, I'd only gave it to you after he'd taken the money out that uh, he wanted, that he needed, rather, for, for his services. And it's a subtle difference, but it does actually, um, you know, does affect things. Because the company went out of business, and all of uh, the money of all these YouTubers that uh, they were working with was sat in the Defy Media account. But, as we've said, it's not, that wasn't their money. That was the YouTuber's money that Defy Media was supposed to take a cut off. Now, Defy Media's assets are being handled by uh, a bank company known as Ally, which um, I don't think exists in this country, as far as I'm aware, or if it does, it doesn't uh, operate under that name, so I don't know much about Ally as a company. But as a result of the previous video, Ally finally get released a statement about what was going on. I say a statement, it was a tweet. They released a two-part tweet on Twitter, because, well, I suppose you can't really release a tweet on anything other than Twitter, never mind. Um, and so Matt Pat has made a second video responding to uh, that response. 
because their response was insulting, basically. What they said was, essentially, I'm going to paraphrase because I don't have the tweet uh, open and I'm not going to do them the dignity of looking it up. I will tell it you as it is. I'll tell you the, the meaning behind it rather than try and hide it behind the, word, the specific words they used. What they said was, uh, essentially, we're sorry you're all... Uh, we've all had your money taken. Um, but it's completely out of our hands now. We'll get to that particular part of the statement in a minute. Um, and you're not the only ones who are losing money from this. Think about all the money that uh, Ally Bank will have put into the um, into Defy Media. We're losing all our all of our uh, investment from that, or the majority of it. And if that sounds semi-reasonable to you. Why don't you think about it a little bit more? Ally Bank has basically said, we're sorry that you're not getting paid for your work, um, but it's just as bad for us, the billion dollar, sorry, multi-billion dollar uh, enterprise, because the business transaction we undertook didn't come out exactly as we expected it to. The business transaction they voluntarily took because that's how loans work. They choose whether to give it to you based on you know your finances. So not only have they had the opportunity to look at the finances, they've looked at them and said yeah sure that seems good to us. Go ahead. Here's, here's the money. Here's all the money you want. Oh you've gone bust. Well, we better make sure we get as much of our money back as we can. It's one of those things where I'm not surprised a business is putting itself first and its bottom line first. That is, in essence, what a business is uh, is supposed to do, as heartless as that may seem. Uh, let's, let's get another one of these. But it does seem bizarre for a company to outright state that's what it's going to. Which, as I said, it basically has. It said, you know, we're, we're sorry that uh, you're losing your income. Um, but, you know, our bottom line's hurting as well. And that's just in that's insulting that uh, they are even pretending those two things are in any way, shape or form. This, uh, even slightly equivalent. I'm going to use this thing. Can I... Oh, that uh, had a slightly wider blast range than I expected there. Now, I've um, paraphrased a lot of my little rant there from um, Matt Pat's response video. He obviously goes into a lot more detail, partially because, you know, he's, um, it's in his best interest to put as much information um, and accurate information as possible. So he's obviously got a scripted video and I'm, you know, winging it a bit. Um, and it's in his best interest to make sure that that video is uh, as accurate and accessible as possible because, once again, he needs the video um, to get to as wide an audience as it can. So uh, at the end of this video, I will put a link to his video because... Is the one that needs to be uh, to be spread around because, unsurprisingly, YouTube's algorithms don't really want to touch that. Since, as I said, they're the ones who insist people use MCMs in the first place, and now they've got a big story about an MCM that's screwing over its creators. The algorithm's not going to want to prioritise that very much. So, I don't know. as I said, I will put the link at the end of the video. It is in the description as well. So. Go find it, and most importantly, tell other people about it, because, let's face it, I'm going to get, you know, views in the single digits on a video like this. Um, so, if people who have a slightly wider audience in whatever regard, be it, uh, you know, putting the video out on Facebook, um, you know, if you've got your own channel, spread it on there, Twitter, um, spread it on that. Um, 
I did send a uh, what are they called? Direct one of those direct tweet things to Jim Sterling because this is right up his alley. It's not video game related specifically, uh, but he does do YouTube and corporate screwing people over quite a bit on uh, his channel. So he, he won't have seen it um, because you know he gets God knows how many videos a day. But if more people were to bring his attention to it, or other people in his sort of um, position, what are they called? Influencers, I guess. Um, and he's, he's got journalistic um, inclinations. I don't know exactly what he would describe his job as, but let's face it, he does effectively report on news in some way, shape or form. I haven't really been paying attention to what's going on on screen. I'm sort of playing on autopilot at this point. Um, so... Oh, hang on, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, got interrupted. And I, as a result, have absolutely no idea what my thought process was at the time. I think I was just saying, spread the word, either to people who um, have influence or using whatever influence you yourself have. So the... Uh, the more this gets picked up on, the more likely it is that uh, an outcome that will be satisfactory to uh, many people involved as possible will occur. Because, let's face it, Ally Bank, I'm not saying they deserve to, uh, to lose all their money per se, but it is worth knowing uh, or remembering that they... As a company, they should have done research onto uh, Defy Media, which put them in a significantly better position to predict the fall of uh, Defy than any of the YouTubers would have done. They would have had the option whether or not to invest with them in the first place, and uh, they could have chosen not to have gone in there in the first place. To uh, um, put any money into Defy, whereas the YouTubers haven't had that option. It's been, you know, that's how the business model works. You want the copyright, YouTube needs to pay us first, and then we'll give you the money that's left over from that afterwards, which... That's, it's, it's not right that that's the way it goes, um, but it's very easy to say that in hindsight. You know, when you're actually uh, in the position of... Uh, you know, uh, approaching one of these companies, or one of these companies approaching you, then it's, uh, if, you know, that's the way it works, it can be quite easy just to not question it and to, to go with it. So, yes, once again, this is a, another call to action video, which, again, in the grand scheme, probably won't do much, but, you know, every little helps as, uh, the famous, uh, supermarket brand slogan goes. Explode. Right, let's actually focus on playing the game for a bit. So, I don't think I've played with Samson on the channel before, so for those of you who are unfamiliar, Samson has an ability where it, whenever he takes damage uh, on a particular level, his attack increases as a result. So the fact that I have a lot of health means that uh, a lot of the red hearts, rather, means that if I was to take a lot of damage on a particular level, by the time I get to the boss, I am uh, an absolute walking tank. And one of the reasons why I've been so uh, willing to walk through the uh, oops, the sacrifice ah, got hiccups, the sacrifice doors, because yes, I'm taking damage, but as a result, I'm getting a, an attack boost. So. I completely forgot about this uh, air raid button of mine. Nope, that's... What's my tent? Oh! Ah! I can't remember what you're called. I think you're called the Stain. I don't like you. Go away. You are a bad man. There he is! And I think I picked an item up that drops bombs randomly, which I forgot about. Stop doing that! There we are, it's dead. Nope, oh, and mask of infamy. 
Gotta kill the heart first so I can kill this, the mask. Wow, what is that? I'm surprised Samson's dropping so many of these bombs. I don't uh, Normally when I I have this um the little poop bomb power. It doesn't drop bombs quite this frequently, so I don't quite understand the mechanics of how that happens. Stop being a thing and start being a dead. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's just go straight to the next thing. Oh, four, and I didn't see what that one was because it's dark, but I'm going to assume it's... Oh, who are you? I can't remember off the top of my head. Pestilence, maybe? Conquest? I know, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse are all very similar models, and I can't flip and see any of them when I'm uh, got this Curse of Darkness thing on. Cool, right, so that's a damage up. Oh, I will take that. What are you two? Bombs and hearts. Ah, you bastard. Right. So, 34 coins. What to get with 34 coins? Do, 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 do. Uh, I'll need a key for the next level. Uh, I'm actually all right for hearts for the moment. I think I'll save my turn. That's a tears up item. I'm shooting fast enough, I don't need to I can't remember what the horns do. Let's find out. Cross tears. Oh, okay, so every now and then I shoot sideways. Okay, that's pretty useful. Particularly in a room of this sort of size where I'm frequently going to be dealing with people from every direction to kill. Nice coin. Heart. Oh, almost didn't see that coin here. Curse of Darkness almost made a fool out of me. But I don't need a curse to do that. I'm perfectly capable of making a fool out of myself. Yeah. Righty. Into the womb. Yeah. As levels go, the concept of the womb is rather a strange one. Oh, I spit razor blades occasionally now. Nice. Did you think about the design of the um, of the levels in the main game? You fight your way down to the basement until you fight Isaac's mother. At which point you then move into the... When you've defeated Isaac's mother, you then move into the womb levels. Which... You, you found your mother, who is mainly, I remind you... Um, Notes um, represented by a singular leg. Oh, bad, that's a full heal if ever I needed. Ooh. I could really make use of these doors. But, oh, no. We'll, we'll get to the bosses and see. Because if I use up all the, um, the grey hearts by the time I get to the bosses, then I can move, really, uh, lower myself down to basically half a, a heart. Um, because all that damage... Oh! What? I face to be immortal, I don't know why. What just happened? That was weird. I th I... I don't know what caused that effect. That's strange. Anyway, train of thought was... That before I fight the bosses, I can use the sacrifice doors to lower my, uh, health to minimum. All of that damage will then cause the, um... Bloody Lust perk or whatever it is that Samson's default is to maximise his attack, meaning I could do so much more damage to the final bosses. Unfortunately, not really much point, because I have got full health. So we'll do it with the... if I need to. I'll do it with the final guys instead. So I'm shooting so fast and so hard at this point that it doesn't really matter if I boost my attack much more. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. Next one. Oh, war again. Ooh, two wars. Alright, there you go. Seriously, why is this... Why is it pooping so much? It doesn't usually do that, the little poopy bomb things. I mean, he's dealt with them. As I said, I've had this ability before, and sometimes it can go for absolute ages uh, 
between the explosions going off to the point where I forgot I have the ability and get caught off guard by the sudden explosions. So as I said, they just pop wherever you are. So if you don't move sharpish, you just do get a hurt on. Nope, there we are. Hey, oh, I'm not a mortal again. I don't. What's causing that? Oh, maybe. Is it the horns? The little. F. Okay, the flies are from the. It stinks, sir. Uh... Wow, I took Krampus out in seconds. That's always fun. Okay, so, piece of coal, I believe, makes tears more damaging as the further they are away. I think. I'll take corrected. It's, again, not really clear from the description. Which, I'm sure I've said this before, that's one of my biggest problems with uh, The Binding of Isaac, is that you don't have any... Oh, the hell, I'll use the bed. Why not? You don't have any means of knowing what things are a lot of the time. And through here. Ow. I know. What was it? Waste of time, but, you know, there's a bed there, may as well make use of it. So, I mean, you, you find an item that just describes itself as coal, my Christmas present. It doesn't tell you what that does, so you've either got to work it out from the context, which sometimes is easy, um, but with something like a, a, a power-up that does da more damage the further away you are from what gets hit, that's not a, a simple thing to figure out. So the number of times where... The only way of knowing what a thing does is to look it up on the uh, on the Wikipedia thing, which again, if you're halfway through a a run, you don't want to be stopping to fight to try and figure out whether picking up an item will help you or completely screw you over. Right. No, oh, dropped the bomb. Thanks. Okay. Well, plenty of coins. Let's go in here. I don't have any keys. There's a key there, I can buy one. And taking all this damage is going to help me in the long run. Because I've got the, heart, the health to buy that. Hey, what the hell, let's throw some money into this guy. Do a thing. Do a thing. Do a thing. Thank you. Uh, that's a... Cursed item? Yeah, I'll stick with the fish heads. Look how many flies i got around me. Console, I don't want that either. Well, that was a waste of hearts, but it did make me stronger, which is always useful. Eh, that'll be enough. Um, let's let's get a bomb for good measure. What the hell? Right, let's start the fighting. Uh, Righty roo! I could do the better active. Skill. I don't really like the uh, air raid thing. Oh, what's this? Well, you never miss your girl. Sure, why not? Let's make my move psychic as well. Free heart, like that. Uh, oh, it's over there. I was wondering why I wasn't uh, going on to the next level. It's because there was a bloody destructor skull there. Stupid lightning buggers. Oh, invisible are you? Well, you're dead now. How did that help you? Yeah, lots of things. So I don't know whether these things are just really resistant to attacks from the front or whether they are completely immune to them, but it's still irritating either way. <laughs> Collect all the coins. Uh, let's... Get rid of that. Ah, it was one of these. And pop up. And die. Bosses, please. Oh, oh one dead. Ah, he's close, so he's not taking much damage, but he's dead as well. Whatever. Next. Hey, Grampus. And you're dead. Grampus again. And who are you? Dark one? I don't know. And they're both dead. Uh, 
Uh, oh, that's um, fly spawns. Yes, usable fly hive. I do like me some flies. Hey, no, go away, go away. Bad, bad. Stupid bomb. Right. We're on to the next level again. Oh, actually, let's double check the. Uh, The store, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, let's get another key. We'll need that for the next level down. I'm full hearts. Don't need that. Uh, yeah, let's let's leave it with that. Because the way I'm uh, currently built, there's a very good chance I might actually be able to take on Ultra Greed. I'm not betting huge amounts of money on that. Ultra Greed is an absolute beast. Um, there are times where the only way I've been able to beat him is just by getting the... Absolute perfect uh, combination of um, items, so I end up with a massively overpowered character. Like I am, um, there's a there's one ability that um, if you don't move, you can't take damage, and there's another ability where there is a sort of ring of damage around you constantly. I think I mentioned it uh, once before, thinking about it. Um, but I once beat him by walking to the centre of the room, standing still so I can take damage, and just waiting for the uh, for him to walk into me enough to uh, defeat himself. I bought a key on the previous level. I forgot. They don't have key door rooms on this one. Oh well. Alright, let's start fighting things. Yeah, there we are. The problem is with these rooms is that they are so big, it can be quite easy to uh, have an enemy and not actually know where they are just because they're out of sight somewhere. And when you're trying to keep a distance so you can maximise your damage with the uh, coal item, put your head back. There we go, die. I hate these stupid little walky skull things. Because they don't take damage unless the red thing's up, but they don't put the red thing up unless they're close enough to you to actually do damage. Okay, I'm surrounded by uh, pride. That's who it is. Well, he's dead. That laughing means that... There we are, mums. And popping down. And they're full of spiders. Because why the hell not? Jesus, wept. I mean, yes, okay, taking all this damage is good for, you know, boosting my damage. But when 20 enemies pop up at once, it's quite disconcerting. Wrath, go away. Right. Okay. Pick up all the coins. Not that I think I had any reason to use them, but let's go in here. Um, yeah, let's bomb it. See what happens. Next to nothing. Whatever. Half a heart. There are. Can't what some of these things do. Let's top the health up. Fight whatever this thing is. Daddy Longlegs, I think. Oh, and he's dead. Three ragmen. Three supplies. Why the hell not? And next. Why is it? Oh, oh wow, there's lots of them. Lots of not pin. I don't know what these things are called. Well, they're, they've got an arc on. Whatever they are, they're angry at me. Oh, I'm immortal again. Where is that? Where's that a sort of... I don't know what is causing that effect. Um, I'm not complaining that I've got it. It's a useful effect to have, but... I can't remember what these do. I think that's Whore of Babylon, which only kicks in when I've got half a heart. That is Sin Up, I believe. So that'll give me some black hearts, which would be quite useful going into the final rooms. So, yeah, let's, let's take that one. So three black hearts would be quite useful. If I take... Yeah, I'll take this one as well. So now if I take all of that damage and get into half a heart, not only will I have the um, attack boost from... Um, bloody lust, I will also get an extra little bit of damage for the last half a heart, which will probably immediately disappear because, ultra, as I said, Ultra Greed is a tank, and if he's done that much damage to me, I ain't going to be able to do much with what I've got left. 
Go away. Oh, righty. Right, Ultra Breeze. Time to get my ass handed to me on. I'd say a silver platter, but I think uh, Ultra Greed would like something a bit more powerful. Ah, don't throw bombs. Ow. Actually, I want to be as far away as I can, can't I? Get the. Uh... So cool. Chris oh, what? This again. I've become immortal. I don't know what's calling that. Ow. As I said, a few minutes in, I'm already. A few minutes. A few seconds in. I'm already uh, down to... How many hearts will I have lost by now? Three? Four? Lots. Lots is the answer. Uh, I want to get rid of all these keys, because if he gets any of those things out, it means he summons lots of minions, and those minions are not happy bunnies. Ah... Draw all the keys before they do damage. Okay, I think I'm gonna have something coming out. Yep, that's the sound of things unlocking. Oh god, bombs everywhere. Okay. I think I'm getting into the swing of it. I'm. Uh, I've lost less health getting him from a quarter to a half than I lost in getting him from 100% to 75%. So maybe we'll get lucky. As I said, I want to be as far away from him as possible just to really maximise the, uh, the coal effect. Eh, he's summoning some bad guys. Be gone with thee, be gone with all of thee. Go away, go away, go away. Everything go away. Uh, we're almost there. Ah, lots of bombs. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Actually, ow is good because I'll do more damage in the final run where he, I think, is going to completely flip his lid. There we go. Victory for the Dark Lord. Which I was not expecting at all, to be perfectly honest. I was convinced this would end, well, about as well as the uh, the first little run I did with, uh, what was it, Kane? I don't know. Right, let's stick all my coins in this uh, greed donation box. Because when you've got a man made of gold, you need to give him every penny you've got, apparently. Stupid charity box. God damn it, can't I just press a button and put all of them in? Because... Oh, I can just sort of hold it, I suppose. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, now, hold paperclip. How useful. Okay. I've never finished this mode with that many coins before. I didn't realise I could just press and hold it. But damn it, if I had ten more, that would have been very... Uh, Quite a satisfying thing to get to. Well, I've got a bomb I don't need and a key I don't need. Oh! There was a coin behind you! Sneaky little bugger, hiding coins from me. Here, have a bomb. Present from a friend. I've got a key I can't use, but whatever. Okay. So, we'll pop into there. And we'll, we'll watch the ending. Because I don't think I've ever succeeded in any of these <laughs> things on the camera before. So, we'll show it to you. And then we'll call it an episode. There we are. See, Isaac became a shopkeeper. For some reason. These endings don't make a huge amount of sense. I will not pretend to understand them. He's a happy one, though. Alright, that'll do. Bye.